Good morning. Today is the day that I'm supposed to drive to Danau Poso. And it's raining very hard and it's a big drive. Uh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna have to get my rain clothes on. Thank you, Gracias. I now have a monster nine hour drive to Danau Poso. Wish me luck. The rain clothes are on. I'm ready to go. Well, Google Maps is telling me to go down some really strange roads. It has been raining, so I'm a little bit nervous about the track. Well, that was a failure immediately because there's no way I'm driving my bike down a muddy track like that. I will definitely, definitely fall off. So, another hour has been added onto the journey. Okay, we've got a really rickety bridge now. Oh, oh. Wow. Uh oh. Wow. That must have happened very recently, maybe last night. Oh. Google Maps is once again lying to me, telling me to go places that don't exist. So if you're traveling through Sulawesi, just remember that, do not trust Google Maps. Apparently I'm supposed to go down there, but there is no, there's no road there. There's just nothing. So I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Google. Oh, Lichin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a big landslide that's just happened. Jesus. Look at my feet as well, absolutely covered in mud. My God. So now I have a two hour drive up a very windy road up into the highlands of central Sulawesi. Quick stop, check the batteries, get my bike ready for the ascent up to Lake Poto. See you there. All right, well, Google Maps has sent me on a wild goose chase because I cannot go down there. There's no route. I'm gonna to have to turn around and go back because that road there just does not exist. There is nothing there. God damn it. Well, some guy did warn me that this was the wrong way and I didn't listen, <laughs> and here we are. Thanks Google Maps for taking me the wrong way and losing me two hours. Almost in Tentena, 17 minutes away. Well, I found somewhere to stay. It's called Victory Tentena, and I'm on the way now. Here we go, victory. We have two kind of room uh -huh. in the camera. For one person, for standard, 150. Yeah. And the last, 250. All right, here I am. I've got three beds to choose from. Oh. Well, I'm here. I've made it to Tentena. Finally, but what a journey that's been. That's 11 hours on the bike. Oh, just exhausted. So I'm gonna get some food and I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning and go to Bada Valley. Can't wait for that. Ah, good morning. I've just stayed in this lovely little homestay on the banks of Danau Poso in Tentena. And now I'm gonna go to Bada Valley. Here she is, get the bike loaded up. And this is the quaint little town of Tentena. Lovely little place actually. So the place that I'm going right now, it is an incredibly remote place. If you can imagine a valley in the middle of the jungle, essentially. There's only one road in, and one road out, and that's this road. 
I've been told the road is quite broken in places and it's going to take me two and a half hours to get there. So I'll see you there. I've just done something completely stupid. I attached my GoPro to the side of my bike using a sticky pad and I normally always use a cable tie but this time I didn't. I had it attached to my box here and it's dropped and I've just been 30 minutes down that way uh, back to retrace my steps to when I last checked it was still there and it's gone. Man! Man! Man. Ah, you guys are the best. <laughs> I got it back. Man, high five, man. Can't believe the guys found my GoPro. These are two of the guys that I saw on the way and they must have turned around and, and looked in the grass and they found it. <laughs> this really is the Jalan Rusak, the broken road. Holy shit, man, this is fucking hell. This is extremely broken. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Wow, this guy in front of me is just flying. He knows these roads very well. He slows down for the broken bits, but as soon as the road is clear, he's absolutely gunning it. Oh, there it is, there's Bada Valley. Finally, after two hours of driving, but it really is a broken road to get here. Jesus. Whoa. Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Finally here and this is Palindo. This is a very famous statue here in the absolute middle of nowhere. You might have seen this before but you don't quite know where it is. Well it's here. There are lots of myths and legends about this statue but the truth is no one really knows who made it. No one really knows how old it is. There's been no archaeological dig on this place. The guesstimates are that it's uh, from the 1400s, but some people say it's as old as 5,000 years. This stone has come from a long way away. It hasn't come from this valley. It's been dragged here. I don't know, but it is a really mystical site. But I am getting attacked by bees here. There's bees absolutely everywhere. I'm a bit scared. It's really hard to describe how remote this place is. All the way around are mountains. All the way around. And we're just in this like flat bottomed valley in the middle of nowhere. Ah, now this guy, he's definitely a guy. He's sleeping, he's laying down. He's got the same face. Wow, oh, and what's this over here? Something smashed up. Some kind of jar. And it looks like here is a full jar. It's got two different compartments. I wonder what the hell it was used for. So no idea what this one's for, but it's all been carved out. Super old. 
Who knows? There are just stones everywhere. Ancient stones. And then what on earth were these used for? They have these holes in them. I wonder if they were made for, you made for grinding up rice or something like that. If you have any idea, just let me know. Yeah, if you have any idea, comment, just tell me, please write in the comment section of what this could be because I'm a little bit confused by it all, really. I mean, what's this? Ah, yeah, you can see his head. Here's the eye. And there's the hat. It's a really strange place, this. Mesmerizing. Ah, oh, it's a right wild goose chase trying to find this, this megalith. There's one and it's uh, supposed to look like a buffalo. Well, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. I'm looking for a megalith. What's wrong with me? Ha! Ah, I found it. Oh, this took me about 30 minutes of going through endless rice fields, right? But just over there, I can see it sticking out. This guy was super hard to find. Uh-oh, I dropped it. I dropped my bike, and I gotta pick it up again. Oh, luckily, no damage to me or the bike. I've got it on some nice flat ground now, but oh, Jesus. <sighs> on my own as well, right? This is how you do it. Uh-oh. This is not good. What have I done? What the fuck have I done to my bike? Wow, well, I don't know what happened then, but my bike wouldn't start, but now it is. Okay, well, I think, think I'm gonna camp in this place. This is called Logger. Oh. oh my God. I've got, a, I've got a friend for the night. I'm gonna pitch my tent somewhere there.
sick. I'm gonna drive to Napu and I'm gonna camp there. It's another valley like this, also with megaliths in, and then make my way to Ampana, ready for the ferry to the Togian Islands. All right, that's the campsite packed up. Pack the bike and get out of here. But look at that, megalith. Uh, Mao uh, Tiga. Yeah. Tiga Pulu. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Pak. Look at this. That this route is just incredible. I've, I've only seen two other cars on a whole route and one truck. That's it. Back to Lake Paso. Beautiful lake as well. Wow. Here I am. Saluopa waterfall. I'm going to go get a shower because I slept in my tent last night. I've got my cleaning materials with me and a towel. Well, the photos don't really do this place much justice because it's much bigger than you think it is. Last night, I camped. No, I didn't take a shower, so I'm going to take a shower now. What an amazing way to start the morning. Oh, yeah. I am having an amazing time here in central Sulawesi. That road, according to Google, doesn't exist, but it does exist. Unfortunately, in front of me is a huge thunderstorm, which I'm going to have to ride through. Wow, here we go. So where I'm going to go is somewhere behind those mountains. I just wish the driving conditions were a little bit better. Oh, never mind. My feet are soaking wet. Whoa, that is a huge tree. Look at that. Wow. That would definitely hurt if that landed on you. And the worrying thing is, it could happen at literally any time. This is not good. Here goes. Oh, he's done it! Yes! Oh, I'm through. This is very recent as well. That's very, very recent. Even that sawdust is still there now. This is the hardest road I've ever driven on in my life. I mean that. I really, really mean it. It doesn't look like the road's gonna get any easier. And the water is just, it's just eating away at the road because it's unfinished. Honestly, what an adventure this is. I'm not going to forget this journey. Oh my God. I have a feeling or a suspicion, or maybe it's just a hope that we're getting close to Napu now. Ada Teman Teman Baru. Teman Baru. See you, brother. Yeah. See you. Sampai jumpa. Okay. 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 Primo untuk Indonesia. Primo untuk Indonesia. Mantap. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. This is the army post. They're protecting this area against terrorists and then we're about to sleep wild camping in an area with terrorists. Wish me luck. Well, it's stopped raining now, but I'm still piss wet through and apparently the road is still quite broken. I'm gonna go down now. So, yeah, I need to find a place to camp and rest my weary head. Well, the view up here is amazing. Look at it. Fuck me. Well, the journey has been worth it just to look at that. Holy fuck, mate. 
Oh God, it's absolutely freezing right now. And I'm just looking for a campsite because it's got dark. Oh God, it's cold. And that down there is a Napu Valley. Beyond that, somewhere over there is Dodder Valley. And beyond that is Badder Valley where I was yesterday. The tent and the wind. Oh, it's just getting darker and darker. It's a race against time to make my tent. day I've had really the second half of the day has just been just terrifying at times I mean that it's the worst road I've been on in my life and the conditions were today were the worst conditions I've ever driven in as well pouring down with rain I'm, I'm here in this campsite basically some army guys gave me this recommendation and it was getting dark so I had no choice but to camp here I asked the army guys why are you stationed here it's a bit of a random place to have an army checkpoint they said there's terrorists in the in the jungle here so yeah that's a, a little bit you know concerning i'm gonna have a nervous night's sleep tonight i think <laughs> wow well that was definitely one of the worst night's sleep i've ever had and the reason is, is because I was so scared. Basically, there was five, five people, maybe six people. They parked their motorbike up not far from where I was sleeping. And then they were shining torches around my tent. And then, and then but then they walked the other way. And I, and I just was a bit nervous because, you know, there's terrorists here in the jungle, uh, apparently. Definitely scared. Uh, sleeping with one eye open, one ear open all night. Anyway, look at this beautiful place. It's like savannas with a few pine cone trees on it. Really beautiful. And this is the entrance to Napu. I've come so close, but the road has just gone extremely muddy. Yeah, I did try to go to Dodder Valley, but the road was just super wet and muddy and my tires are just not good enough for this road. I could have tried, yeah, but there's a risk. There's a risk that I would fall, get stuck, damage myself, damage the bike. And I can't take that risk because tomorrow I have to be in Ampana at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. So here I am in this super remote valley called Napu Valley. It really is just weird why these are here. Because the stone is not, it's not from this area. It's been brought from somewhere else. There are no stones here. And what their purpose was as well, you know, was it to put a body in? Was it to keep rice in? Was it to, you know, what was, what was the purpose? Was it some ritual purpose? It really is bizarre. Oh, and it's got a face as well. Look. Wow. So some people say that they're 5,000 years old. I think the archaeologists say that they are from the 1400s. But the fact is, no one really knows. There's been no archaeological dig on the area to find out more about the people and try to carbon date anything. It's all just a guess, really.
This is me saying goodbye to Napu for a few months. Yeah. Wow. I just can't believe I did this road in the pouring rain. What an idiot. Should have just waited. In the dark, in the rain. Wow, even in the daylight and dry, it's tricky. And this is the Gulf of Tomini. Somewhere in there is the Togian Islands. I'm going to stay on the sea level for about two weeks now while I go and travel around the Togian Islands. It's going to be a great chapter as part of this Sulawesi experience. And I must say I'm already really loving Sulawesi.